from uh, today we will start our second unit uh, that is modeling and evaluation and the basics of future engineering okay and uh, two chapters are involved in this second unit first one is modeling and evaluation and these are the topics that will come under modeling and evaluation after that we will move to the second chapter that is next chapter basics of future engineering right so we will see all those chapter uh, one by one in our uh, forthcoming classes first let us see the introduction to modeling and evaluation okay when come to modeling means we need to create a new machine right that machine is able to think and take intelligent actions after that applying mathematical and statistical formulations for learning new things right when come to machine learning it struggles to build formulations or mapping okay so how it will struggle based on limited number of observations here observation is nothing but the input data input data or training data set okay so this is called as observations right so if the number of observation is very limited then this is very big issue of building a new formulation that is the target function or the mapping function right so here uh, when come to learning process of a machine it can be divided into three part first one is input data and second one is abstraction and third one is generalization so we will see these things with a very suitable example now let us see one example that is election crime example in election a criminal is going to launch an attack on the main candidate that is in an election a criminal will plan to attack the main candidate and he is a long record of serious crime right and what the police will do they are maintaining the criminal database the database contains a list of uh, collected photographs of criminals right already existing criminals now they have to map this particular criminal with the existing database right with the features which are the features they are having the shape of the jaw and the slope of the forehead and size of the eyes and structure of ear and etc these are the important features those features of the criminal will map to the database Uh, criminal that is existing criminals okay actually this process is very difficult and very complicated one if we do that with uh, manual manual process but when come to machine learning we can easily identify the criminal um, that is by comparing the criminal photo with existing input data because the machine has no uh, so subject to baggage emotions or bias due to past experience or etc okay what the machine will actually do first it will use the input data input data means the criminal database photos after that the criminal uh, photo will be compared with the criminal database photos okay by using the abstraction technique so abstraction means uh, the future based concept map from the input data which are the features here we are using the shape of jaw and the slope of forehead size of eyes and the structure of ears okay so these are called as the abstract and after that the third one is generalization okay then finally the machine learning algorithm will generalize by using the classification algorithm and decide whether the face with gathered future is criminal or not okay so likewise the first one is input data second one is abstraction and third one is generalization so in machine learning process the abstraction is representing the raw input data in a summarized and structured format okay so the raw input will be converted into structured or summarized format is called as abstraction okay that is the meaningful understanding is obtained from input data is called as abstraction right and this structured representation of raw input data to the meaningful pattern 
is called a model. Okay. What, what is actually model? We are converting the input raw data into meaningful pattern. Meaningful pattern. So, which is nothing but our output. So, this is called as model. Here, the model may have different forms. It may be a mathematical equations, graph or tree structure or computational block and etc. This may be any form. So, now we need to decide which particular model is suitable for our problem. So, this is called as learning task. Okay. So, the learning task is based on the problem to be solved and the type of data. And the type of data. For example, our problem is prediction problem and the data are numeric and continuous data. Then obviously, we have to select the regression model. So, this is a category of, uh, this will come under supervised learning model. The process of assigning a model and fitting to a specific model to a data set is called as model training. Okay, model training means we have to select a suitable model and uh, that should be suitable for the given data set. Okay, once the model is trained, then the raw input is summarized into abstracted form. Right, so the raw input will be converted into abstracted form then this is called as model training. That means by using abstraction, the learner is able to summarize the knowledge. What is the meaning of this? From the raw input, we will get the knowledge. So in between different stages are there. Uh, our goal is from the raw input, we, ha we have to get the required knowledge. That is, that may be in the form of abstraction or visualization or whatever it may be. And next is generalization. It search through the huge set of abstracted knowledge. Search the huge set of abstracted knowledge to come up with small and manageable set of key findings. Okay. So, abstraction uh, and knowledge are huge volume here. From the huge volume, we have to select the small and manageable set of key findings, which is our actual output. Okay, if our outcome is incorrect, then the learning is said to have some bias. If there is any error in learning, then we will get the incorrect output otherwise. So far, we have seen the basic learning process, that is data input, abstraction and generalization from the second unit modeling and evaluation in the next class we will see another important topic from second unit thank you